ho. Like yeah, it. show him your mom made a pro. Big booty, big booty bitch. Hey, little booty bitch is yeah. a high girl. Yeah. Some now pop y'all shit. Hey, work out, ho. Yeah. yeah, show him your mom made a pro. Like that. Little booty bitch, like big booty bitch. All right, guys. Hi, I'm Destiny, and we're back here with another video. It's gonna be a little, a little thing with plucking and bleaching the knots. Today's hair is gonna be from Ali Mosa. I usually don't be showing the boxes, but I guess I'll show you the box inside of course it came with the hair which i'll show you in a second it comes with a wig cap some lashes and an elastic band last but not least it does come with the hair now for the hair it is a little pixie do hot little thing it's 180 degrees I mean well percent for the density um, this is the curl pattern you can really see it in the back but what we want to focus here is on this hairline this is not it no ma'am no ham and no turkey so we're gonna pluck it and then I'm gonna bleach the knots and just see if we can turn her out. But yeah, let's get into it. My name is Carrie. I'm so very fly. Oh my, it's a little bit scary. Boys wanna marry. Looking at me, dairy. So right now I'm just like spraying it. <laughs> I didn't have to spray the whole thing, but. So right now you're looking at the lace. I just wanted to show you guys how the parting is within the first two inches of the lace. This is a 13 by four. And then what I'm gonna do is part the first inch off because that's primarily where I'm going to be plucking. I'm not going to be plucking later in into the hair. So I'm going to start off by sectioning off like a small row and just working my way up through that row. I find it easier to work in like a triangle motion going like in a zigzag formation and that way I can avoid plucking too much in one area but the lace itself is pretty easy to take out the hair so you have to be super careful and not over plucking. So this is the hair that I took from the 
place and it was a lot so you see now is I'm going to use the 40 volume developer and I'm going to use about a third of this bleach packet I personally don't like to use the strongest form of bleaching which is you know the right amount of developer bleach what you're gonna see me do is mix a little bit of water in it that way when I do put the bleach on the hair it gives me time so the hair doesn't process faster than when I'm actually applying it on the hair itself but not too much water I'd say maybe like you know five six drops just dilute it a little while that way I can be able to put the bleach on the lace and I like to multitask and you'll see later on me actually putting the bleach on the hair itself but when you're putting it on the lace you just want to do a thin layer you don't want to coat it too much where it seeps through I made it a little too um, watery and it did seep through but it turned out okay because I was going to bleach the hair in general but as you see here I'm going to remove I forgot to put my plastic bag gosh darn it um, I'm going to put the wig on there and we're going to get to actually bleaching the hair I'm going to use that same concoction of the sorts of my diluted bleach um to put on the hair now i like to have my front be lighter than my back and my roots be lighter than my tips only because that's the first thing you're seeing when you're looking at someone's hair you're seeing the front and i want all the brightness to be in the front i didn't put it on my tips and then work my way up and i most definitely did not section it off and put foil on there this is the destiny method try it patent it whatever you want but i'm most definitely going to put it on the front of the hair that way it kind of has like an ombre look on the way down and as you see it's a the watery concoction of my bleach is you know definitely <laughs> looking weird but you can look at the roots and see that they're bleaching pretty fast I would suggest what I end up doing is spraying the roots with water. That way I can deactivate the bleach because I did not want to over process the, the roots too much. Um, but yeah, I'm putting it all on there and I'm also, after I'm done putting it, th putting the bleach on there, I'm going to comb through it just to make sure that each hair is evenly coated. As you see, could see, I did not section off it. So just to ensure that every follicle got some bleach and this is the final product. I washed it and put some silicone mix in there, but yeah, enjoy.